Great seven students, today I am going to explain the lesson liquid measurements. Units used to measure liquid quantities. You know what are liquids, right? As an example, you can take milk, coconut oil, syrup, those are the liquids. To measure the liquid quantities, we have to use liters or milliliters. So you rem should remember 1 liter equals 1000 milliliters. This is important. 1 liter equals 1000 milliliters. To express a liquid quantity in milliliters which is given in liters, the quantity given in liters should be multiplied by 1000. To express a liquid quantity in liters which is given in milliliters, the quantity given in milliliters should be divided by 1000. Now I am going to show you, right? Now, 1 liter equals 1000 milliliters. 1 liter, now you want to convert it to milliliters. So, you multiply by 1000. Milliliters, if you want to convert into liters, you divide by 1000. Right. Page 81. The question number 1, I am going to explain. Express 6 liters in milliliters. 6 liters in milliliters. Now, you know 1 liter has 1000 milliliters. So, 6 multiplied by Thousand. Why do you multiply by thousand? Liters you convert into milliliters. So when you multiply the answer is 6000 milliliters. Right. Review exercise page 81. Question number 2. 3, 4 for homework. Turn to page 82. Now simplify. You can see they have given the addition sign. Now we are going to add. They have given two different values. Liters and milliliters. Liters and milliliters. I am going to explain. Second question. Right. Now 3 liters, 50 milliliters, 7 liters, 975 milliliters. You are going to add them. First you add the milliliters. Here, when you add here, 5, then 12, 9 plus 1, 10, 1025 milliliters. You can't write 1025 milliliters because you know 1 liter equals 1000 milliliters. Then you subtract 1000, then you get 25. This 25 you write here under milliliters column. Then this 1000 milliliters equals 1 liter. You take it to liters column. Then 7 plus 3, 10, 10 plus 1, 11. So you get 11 liters and 25 milliliters. If you write 0 even, it doesn't matter. Right? Okay. Now, question number 7. 2. Sub question 4. Now I am going to explain subtraction, right? They have given 3 liters and 45 milliliters. You write the subtraction sign. Then 5 minus 5, 0. Here you can't subtract, you are taking from here. Then 14 minus 6 will be 8. You have already given 1 here. The remaining 9, 9 minus 1, 8. Already given 1 liter, then 2, 2 minus 2 will be 0. So, what is the, your answer? 880 milliliters. There will be no liters. Right. Now, question number 2. 1 for homework. Sub question 1. Then 3 homework. Please tick those sums. Question number 3. For homework, for for homework.
right now i am going to explain multiplication of liquid quantities expressed in milliliters and liters by a whole number right now page 82 to multiply there will be two methods you can follow now 1 liter 750 ml you are going to multiply by 3 so method 1 liters convert into ml 1000 ml they have given 750 ml when you add both you get 1750 ml then you write 1750 ml multiply by 3 3 times 0 0 3 times 5 15 balance 1 3 times 7 21 plus 1 22 here write 2 3 times 1 3 plus 2 5 you get 5250 ml you can convert into liters and milliliters so you can take 5 liters and 250 milliliters that is method 1 method 2 you can write separately liters and milliliters 1 liter 750 milliliters you can multiply by 3 3 times 0 0 3 times 5 15 balance 1 3 times 7 21 plus 1 22 to 2250 you can't write more than 1000 in milliliter column so what do you do you subtract 2000 then your answer will be 250 you write 250 under milliliters column then 2000 milliliters convert into liters to liters you write that as it is 3 times 1 will be 3 3 plus 2 5 you can follow any method you like right homework page 83 Exercise twenty point one. Question number two and question number four. Then question number two, three, four, five, and six. Right. I'm going to explain. Question number one, sub question three, third question. I am going to explain. Five liters, seven hundred and fifty milliliters multiplied by thirty. Now, five liters, seven hundred and fifty milliliters multiplied by thirty. What do you do? Five liters, you convert into milliliters. Then five thousand milliliters. They have given seven hundred and fifty milliliters, so you add both. Then your answer will be five thousand seven hundred and fifty milliliters. Then you have to multiply by thirty. Double multiplication. I have taught you before. This is the easy method you can follow. Three times zero zero. Three times five fifteen. Balance one. Three times seven twenty one. Twenty one plus one twenty two. Balance two. Three times five fifteen. Fifteen plus two seventy. Right. Then you multiply five thousand seven hundred and fifty. Next step, multiply by ten. Right? Easy method. You write the zero as it is here in the unit column. Then you multiply by one. One times zero, zero. One times five, five. One times seven, seven. One times five, five. Then the last step, you have to add both zero, five. Seven seven plus seven fourteen balance one five plus one six six plus one seven. You get seventy four thousand seven hundred fifty milliliters. You can convert into liters and milliliters. Then. Seventy-four thousand seven hundred and fifty milliliters. You can divide by thousand. When you divide by thousand, seventy-four liters and seven hundred and fifty milliliters. Right.
Now please do the homework on page 83. Multiply. Right. Then turn to page 84. Division of liquid quantities expressing milliliters and liters by a whole number. Earlier we did addition, subtraction, multiplication. Now we are going to do division. Right. For division also there are two methods I can explain. Right. Method 1. Now 5 liters, 450 milliliters you have to divide by 3. The method 1. First 5 liters when you convert into milliliters, 5000 milliliters. Now they have given 400 milliliters. 5400 milliliters. 5400 400 milliliters you have to divide by 3. Long division. 3 times 1, 3. Balance 2. Take this 4. Then 24. For 24, 3 times 8, 24. This 0, there are no Threes. For this zero there are no threes. 1800 milliliters. 1800 milliliters you can convert into liters and milliliters. 1 liter and 800 milliliters. Right? Okay. Method 2. You write separately. Liters and milliliters. 5 liters and 400 milliliters. Now you divide by 3. 3 times 1, 3. The balance will be 2. How many liters? Remaining 2 liters. 2 liters you convert into milliliters. Then you get 2000 milliliters. Then already they have given 400 milliliters. So you have to add both. 2400 milliliters. Now 2400 milliliters you are going to divide by 3. 3 times 8. 24. Then for this 0 there are no 3's. For this 0 there are no 3's. So 1 litre and 800 milliliters. You get the same answer but two different methods. I think uh, first method is easy for you to follow but you can follow any method you like. Page 85 exercise 20.2 Question number 1, third question, third sub-question, fifth sub-question, sixth sub-question for homework. Then question number 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 for homework. For all these, please don't write the question. But you have to show the working. You have to follow the long division. Right children. Please do all the homework. 